The economy has forced many people to change what they do for a living. For a man from Denver, a hobby turned into his livelihood. Nine News storytellers Steve Steger and Andrew Chrisman show us how an act of helping a neighbor changed his life in a way he never imagined. You don't have to do much to make this awesome. Who would have thought something with such a simple start nice and creamy. could be this complex? If they can stop and get lost in a pile of wood for five seconds in a way they weren't expecting, that to me is what it's all about. Chris Dieknicker has always had an eye for art. I try to look at these things deeper than any viewer would ever look at them. He just never made a career out of it until life came a bit unglued. He was laid off looking for work and an odd job for the neighbor next door would change it all. He's moving kind of slow today. <laughs> Betty has a huge forsythia shrub. In a year or two, this will be 10 feet tall again. It was getting out of uh, sorts here and I asked him to come over and <laughs> prune it. When he made that first cut, Chris noticed something. Took one cut into it and realized the center was hollow. The second I cut that, my mind just started going. Seeing the potential in that one little cut. <laughs> He took it back to his workshop and started tinkering. And before he knew it, a new career was born. It's almost like you're corralling chaos. Albeit an unconventional one. It's not really the norm, and a lot of people wouldn't be comfortable with kind of taking a leap of faith and going, you know, we went from a two income earning family to one. Most wives would say, you're crazy. This is all choke cherry from next door. I did a bunch of sanding on some holly Christmas tree here. Sunflower stalks. There is a, a little worm that gets inside the stalks. To kill the worms, I had to put them in the oven and then I froze them. I felt bad for the worms. <laughs> it actually smelled pretty good. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Chris's wife, Amy, bought in. She was doing something that wasn't, you know, really dynamic and he wasn't that good. <laughs> I do. We may have had that, you need to go get a job talk a little sooner. <laughs> I just didn't know any better. Everyone thinks that you can't be a successful artist. Mm -hmm. I just didn't, I didn't really buy into that logic and I, I thought I had something unique to share. And Chris says there's a simple moral to his complex story. If you lose your job, <laughs> no. it's not the end of the world. It could be the beginning of your world. With photojournalist Andrew Chrisman, Steve Steger, 9 News. Pretty. Chris also uses wood from construction projects and used furniture for his art. To see some of his other pieces, we have a link to his website at 9news.com.